Hello there. Welcome to Just the Discs. We talk about Blu-rays here, and today we are going to unbox and talk about the new Central World of Black Emmanuel box set from Seven Films. Another truly epic undertaking from what is probably my favorite label when it comes to box sets. It's a close call between them and um, uh, folks like uh, Indicator, but um, boy, Severin really just puts so much into these sets. Now, this is a behemoth, this set. It is so heavy. It is heavier than the um, full core set they put out. It's just truly a beast. I can put it up here for you all to see. Um, and I want to point out that uh, it has a very neat little thing where I'm not going to do it, but there's a view master function on this where you can flip the pictures. Um, had to be real careful with nudity on displaying this box. I've pre-covered some um, nudity that's part of the packaging, but I'm not going to flip the um, view master, but you can see in the camera for Laura Gemser's, um, you know, uh, cover here, you can flip through different pictures of her. Uh, a lot of them naked. Um, so again, not going to flip that, but I, I do think that's a nice function that they've done. Just a cute little thing to add a little character to this box set, which is already just such an epic thing. Okay, so I'm going to slide out the... Now here's the, the, the case. The box itself is a very sturdy box, as you would expect from Severin. Really nice quality here. This is matte and some shiny finish... Um, just beautiful, just a beautiful thing. And yeah, I, I just, I can't, I can't, uh, say anything but great things about their packaging. It's really, really something special to go on your shelf. Um, and then these are the movies. Um, and there, there's a lot of stuff happening here. Uh, this is a 15 disc, 24 feature film set. Also has two soundtrack compilation CDs. 40 hours plus of uh, bonus features, special features, and a 356-page book. That is right here, the Black Emmanuel Bible, edited by the great uh, Kayla Janice. Look how thick this thing is. This is incredible. Again, I can't really show you this. All right, here's one page I can show you. Um, but yeah, beautiful matte finish. Um just a guide to every film beautiful beautiful book uh again 356 pages this is designed by luke insect and features new writings from noted film scholars and historians as well as laura gemser's in-depth 1996 nocturno magazine interview uh so that's all part of this beautiful book that comes with it i'm just going to lead with that because that's incredible and a part of the weight of the set is this book because it's really hefty and beautiful um, okay, so let's talk about what this set is. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go through Severin's little blurb on their site. Um, she was a pleasure-seeking photojournalist, forever embodied by the exquisite Indonesian actress Laura Gemser, uh, most frequently in collaboration with writer-director Joe D'Amato, uh, who would uncover an increasingly lurid world of sex cults, snuff films, Cannibal jungles, women's prisons, white slavers, depra depraved convents, and beyond to become the premier feminist icon in genre history. This landmark collection produced by award-winning writer-director uh, Kayla Janice. So again, she's behind uh, multiple sets that Severn has done, um, including the, the folk horror set and the... Oh, gosh. Uh, the other one that she had the book about that I'm blanking on. I'm sorry. I'll look it up in a second. But these have been some great um, sets from Severin. Just really well put together, well curated. Kay Kayla is really something special when it comes to film criticism, but also in terms of assembling these sets. Uh, just really, really wonderful stuff. Um, okay, so the... Uh, Bring, it brings together 21 Black Emmanuel films, two adjacent titles starring Euro cult her uh, heroine uh, Ajita Wilson and the D'Amato documentary Inferno Rosso, 
most newly scanned, restored, uh, and on Blu-ray for the first time in America. That's saying most of the films are, that's the case for them. So that's incredible to put together this much stuff. Again, Severin just really does some amazing work. And I, I think I've acknowledged it on the channel, but I really want to make sure people understand how difficult and expensive this kind of thing is. This is a big investment of time and resources and money and I'm not as familiar with these films personally but the fact that uh, Kayla's curated this set and um, House of Psychotic Women sorry that's what I was trying to think of um, another beautiful set that Kayla put together with Severin um, the fact that they've taken the time and energy to do this has me excited to check these films out you know it's never been something I've seen thus far so this is all new to me uh, and there's a lot to take in here so I haven't had a chance to really dig in but I wanted to go through everything that's in this beautiful set with you guys um, so let's start with again this box is so great uh, the first film in the set disc one contains uh, Black Emmanuel and Black Emmanuel 2 and I'm not going to do this for every one of these films. There's a great um, list on Letterbox called Severin's The Central World of Black Emmanuel, and it lists all the films in order, and they've even, I think, gone so far as to um, copy the features from the site so that you get a sense of the whole pa package here. But So the first film is Black Emmanuel. This is from 1975, um, directed by Beto Albertini. And it says, uh, in her first on-screen adventure, uh, journalist photographer Mae Jordan, known to her readers as Emmanuel, travels to Africa on an assignment. Questions of her own racial and sexual identity uh, come to, the, to a head as she observes the troubled marriage of her hosts, Anne and Gianni uh, Dan Daniele. Matters are complicated further when Emmanuel finds herself in affairs with both of them after she flees Africa only be, to be pursued by Gianni who had earlier rejected her and ridiculed her advances. So right away, establishing these are very um, sexual films. You know, there's a lot of nudity and sex involved in these films. And um, clearly that's just sort of part of the character and everything. So that's the first one. Uh, and then Black Emmanuel II from 1976, also by Beto Albertini. Albertini. Manuel is now confined to a Manhattan psychiatric clinic with an acute case of extreme amnesia and depraved fantasies. Can her doctor unravel a Freudian nightmare of incestuous hungers, lesbi lesbian longings, rampant nymphomania, and inexpl inexplicable body painting to solve the shocking mystery of her bizarre sexual trauma? So that's the second one. Now these are both the first two discs, uh, the first two movies on the first set. Uh, first disc of this set. Um, so these are, it said, I'm not, I'm not sure that these are all X-rated. I, I don't know exactly how um, hardcore the sex is in these, but um, the first Black Emanuel movie from 75, it lists triple X inserts as part of what's included, audio commentary with film uh, programmer uh, Jasmine Moreno, um, exoticizing blackness and erotic sovereignty in Black Emmanuel, an interview with adult film historian Muriel Miller Young. So, um, The Reluctant Icon, a tribute to Laura Gemser by film historians Kayla Janice, uh, Stephen Brumer, and uh, Manila, Manilio Gamaras, Gamarasca with animation by Leslie Supnet and Ashley Thorpe. So that sounds like a cool featurette right there. Black Emmanuel's Groove, uh, interview with composer Nico Fedenko. Um, yeah, so this is the first film in the set, and uh, that's what's included on that disc, or that part of the disc. The aspect ratio is 185, audio English mono slash Italian mono, region A, 96 minutes. Black Emmanuel 2 also has triple X inserts. Um, Adele Berto, a.k.a. Bido, interview with film historian um, David Pol Polici. And Diva 70, interview with Dagmar uh, Lassender. Uh, and then that's 185 mono 
English and Italian. Um, Region A, 91 minutes. So then we move on to the second disc in the set. And that is, sorry, um, Emmanuel in Bangkok, 1976, and Emmanuel in America, 1976. Um, this includes an audio commentary with professor of film Aaron O. Bouchon and a reflection of the times, an interview with actress Deborah Berger and Ivan the Terrible and act. And actor Ivan Razumov discusses Emmanuel in Bangkok and Emmanuel around the world. Um, so Emmanuel around the world is coming up, but you have uh, the actor discussing both of them there. There's so many features. Each one of these is having commentaries and featurettes. Again, this is what Severin does so well in terms of putting these packages together and um, including so many extras. And yeah, it doesn't say on each one like which has been restored. Uh, but like the back, the main um, message said, most of them have been, and a lot of them are first time Blu-ray releases. So that's exciting. Uh, Emmanuel in Bangkok, 185 to one English mono, Italian mono, 94 minutes. Uh, Emmanuel in America, special features, lots of stuff here. Audio commentary with film historian Kat Ellinger, archival audio commentary of film historians Bruce Holacek and Nathaniel Thompson, the Danish man interview with actor Lars Block. Confessions of Diana Smith, an interview with actress Maria Piera Regoli. The Art of Sexy and Gore, an interview with art director Marco Dentici. Uh, and The Cutting of the Flesh, interview with FX artist Gianetto De Rossi. The Devil's Trick, interview with makeup artist Maurizio Tron Trani. And the journalists, Maria Pia Fusco and Piero Vivarelli on the origins of D'Amato's Emanuel. The Naked City Emanuel in New York, a location tour with journalist Michael Gingold. That's all included on the Emanuel in America disc. That's that's a lot of stuff just for one disc. Um, okay, so moving on from that, that's 185 to 1, English mono and Italian mono, uh, 100 minutes. Then we move on to our third disc, which again is Emmanuel Around the World and Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. That Those are both from 1977. In terms of features on Emmanuel Around the World, we have um, Around the World of Emmanuel interview with film historian Stephen Thrower, the great Stephen Thrower. Uh, not surprising that they got him involved. I love it when they do that. Um, excited to check out his uh, contribution. I'm not a gu guru. Interview with actor Luigi Montefiore. Uh, the beautiful one. Interview with actor Gianni Machia. Uh, a tribute to Karen Schubert, the N Naked Die actress. Video essay by Kayla Janice and Stephen Brumer, written by Jean Luc Moret, uh, author of Pornification v. De Karen Schubert. So, man, they're just really killing it in terms of how much stuff they're packing into these. I can see this 40-plus hours they're talking about piling up here. Um, in terms of specs, it's 185 to 1, English mono, Italian mono, 102 minutes, unrated cut. And then Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals special features includes an audio commentary by film historian Th Stephen Thrower. Again, very nice. And the world of Nico Fidenko, an interview with composer Nico Fidenko. Uh, a Nun Among the Cannibals, interview with actress Anna Maria Clementi. Dr. O'Brien, MD, an interview with actor Donald O'Brien. From Switzerland to Mato Grosso, interview with actress Monica Zanchi. Dressed to Eat, interview with costume designer Silvana Scandariato. And that's 185, English mono and Italian mono, um, 93 minutes. We're moving on to... Disc number four. This is uh, Porno Knights of the World from 77 and Emmanuel and the Porno Knights of the World from 1978. Um, and uh, this one, uh, Porno Knights of the World, includes 
Master of the World, interview with co-director Bruno Matai. Uh, At the Dining Table, interview with producer Franco Gaudenzi. The Naked Eye, Sex, and the Mondo Film, a uh, documentary with film historians Elizabeth Purchell, Mark Goodall, and Joe Rubin, of course, of Vinegar Syndrome, uh, involved in this one, so that's cool. English opening credit sequence also included. Uh, and then that's 185 English and mit- English mono, Italian mono, and 88 minutes. Emmanuel and the Porno Knights of the World special features includes Crazy Crazy World interview with makeup artist Pietro Tenoglio. And After Hours with Joe D'Amato, an interview with director Joe D'Amato. Uh, 185 English Mono, Italian Mono, 85 minutes. Then on to our fifth disc. And um, this one includes Sister Emmanuel from 77. Boy, she was busy in 77. Emmanuel and the White Slave Trade from 78. Um, so this one, Sister Manuel special features include commentary with film scholar Lindsay Hollum and the trailer, and it's 185 English mono, Italian mono, 93 minutes, and then in- Emmanuel and the White Slave Trade special features audio commentary with film programmer Lars Nilsson. Very nice that he's involved as well. Uh, the Bohemian interview with actor Venatino Venatini. Uh, and then come in on film, La Vera Storia de Gabriel Gaston Tinti, uh, 2016 documentary by Ricardo um, Marchesini. So you're getting documentaries on these discs. I mean, it's just packed. Uh, White Slave Trade Specs, 185 to 1, English mono, Italian mono, 88 minutes. Uh, moving on to disc 6. Uh, Violence in a Women's Prison from 1982 and Emmanuel in Prison from 1985. Uh, It is including an archival interview with director Bruno Matai, Brawl in Women's Block, interview with writers Claudio Fragasso and Rossella Drudi. I didn't... Oh, wait. Maybe I have seen this one. Violence in a Women's Prison. I remember one that was written by Claudio Fragasso. I might have seen this. Um, let's see here. Two for one interview with producer uh, Roberto Di Gir- Girolamo and a radio spot and a trailer. One eight one seven eight to one. Uh, English mono, Italian mono, 98 minutes. Manual in prison. Audio commentary with author and critic Annie Choi. And she's from um, Bleeding Skull and Agfa. Um, and film editor Perry Pivovar. Very cool. Jailhouse Rock, interview with Luigi Seccarelli. Razorblade Smile, interview with actor uh, Pietro Angelo Pazzata. And then Franca Stoppi, matron of hell, video essay written and narrated by film critic Rachel Nisbet, another wonderful contributor that I'm glad to see involved in this set. Boy, they're really pulling out all the stops. Emmanuel in prison specs, 185 to 1, English mono only, uh, 88 minutes. Disc seven. Disc seven. We have uh, Black Cobra from 1976 and Black Velvet from 1976. Uh, Black Cobra includes an audio commentary with film critic Sam Deegan. I just wondered when it was going to be that she would show up on this set. Not surprised. Um, Very glad to have her here. And from Prague to Hong Kong, interview with actress Michelle Stark, as well as a Joe D'Amato at Eurofest featurette. Uh, 185 to 1, English mono, Italian mono, 96 minutes. Uh, all these are closed captioned, by the way. I should have mentioned that for those that want closed captions, which I like to use when I watch movies. Uh, Black Velvet features. Uh, Black Velvet interviews with star uh, Annie Bell and Al Cliver. Cliver. Uh, the Roots of Evil biographer Alberto Pizzada on director Brunello Rondi. Uh, and then A Relationship of Confusion, film critic Joseph Fahim on Valuto Nero. Uh, also includes the English opening credit sequence in Italian and English theatrical trailers. 235 to 1. Uh, audio, partial English mono, Italian mono. Um, closed captions and English subtitles. Uh, 96 minutes. Disc 8. Uh, Emmanuel's Perverse Outburst, 1983, and Porno Asadic Love. From 1980, um, 
Emmanuel's Perverse Outburst includes an audio commentary with Brian Connolly, a big fan of Brian Connolly, um, and film programmer Amber Adams. Very cool. Um, 185 to 1, French Mono is the audio, uh, 97 minutes. And then Porno Exotic Love features The Lovemaker, an interview with actor Mark Shannon. 185 to 1, English and Mono, Italian Mono, 103 minutes. Okay. Disc 9. Disc 9 includes Divine Emmanuel from 1981, but it also includes, uh, as part of the features, Fanatico, When the Goddess Calls, a work print of Kristen Anders' director's cut um, of the film. So two cuts and deleted scenes. Uh, 166 to 1, audio English mono and French mono on Divine and Emmanuel only. Um, sorry, Fanatico When the Goddess Calls work print of the Anders Director Cut. That's maybe two different films. I'm sorry. 99 minutes for Divine and 104 minutes for Fanatico. Um, and then we're on to disc 10. Uh, and that includes uh, Emmanuel, Queen of the Desert from 1982. And uh, that has... Um, it includes the Dirty Seven, the longer alternate cut of the film under its original title. So this does have multiple cuts. Uh, Violent Cypress, an interview with actor Giovanni Brusatori. Sunlight and Violence, interview with cinematographer Nino Celeste. Trailer, Looking Good workout video hosted by Laura Gemser. 58 minutes. That's a cool extra to have. Audio commentary with film and television historian Amanda Reyes and podcaster Eric Threfall, Threlfall. Amanda Reyes, man, I love it. This is a this is an all-star game of some of my favorite um, folks involved with extra features. Uh, Emmanuel, Queen of the Desert, Specs, 166 to 1, English Mono, 89 minutes. Moving on to disc 11, we have uh, Amor Liber Libero, uh, Free Love from 1974, and Emmanuel, A Woman from a Hot Country, 1978. Um, these don't have much in the way of features, but as if there hasn't been enough already. Um, Amoro Libero, Free Love, uh, Aspect Ratio 177 to 1. English Mono, Italian Mono, um, Runtime 86 Minutes. Emmanuel, A Woman from a Hot Country, uh, 185 to 1. English Mono, Spanish Mono, 87 Minutes. Okay, on to deep number 12, disc 12, Black Deep Throat, 1977, and Porno Nights of the World, uh, N2, 1978. And uh, Black Deep Throat includes Ajita Wilson, an elusive icon, video essay by film and gender studies scholar Matt Richardson. Uh, that's uh, specs for the film are two, aspect ratio 235 to 1, English mono, 87 minutes. Um, all these have been region A so far, but these are region free. Um, Porno Nights of the World and 2, uh, 185 to 1, uh, English mono, Italian mono, um, 94 minutes. All right, disc 13. Inferno Rosso, Joe D'Amato on the Road of Excess. That's the documentary from 2021. And Scandalous Emmanuel from 1986. So... You get the whole documentary on Joe D'Amato and these films. That's very exciting in and of itself. I love it when they include that kind of stuff in these sets. Uh, you know, like the Al Adamson set had a documentary on the filmmaker, and I think that's a really cool extra to have. Again, in addition to so much other stuff they've included here. This has an introduction by Nicholas Winding Refn for the Venice Film Festival for the Inferno Rosso doc. Um, Venice Film Festival premiere. And two of a kind, talking about Joe, director Manlio Gamrasca and Gianno A. Nazaro, artistic director, Locarno Film Festival, in conversation, uh, talking about Joe D'Amato. So that's cool. It has outtakes as well. So the documentary has its own special features, which are great. Um, it's 178 to 1 English slash Italian stereo, uh, 73 minutes. Scandalous Emmanuel includes an interview, Scandalous Christina interview with actress Jenny Tamburi and uh, Peeping Lily interview with actress Lily Karate. Uh, and that's 185 to 1, 
English Mono, 91 Minutes. Now we get into the CDs. We have uh, Nico Fedenko's Groove CD is disc 14. And I'm just curious if I pull this out. Nope, there's no listing on it, but I'm uh, definitely curious of what's included on this one in terms of the the uh, soundtrack stuff. Um, and then on the disc 15, we have uh, Black Emmanuel Rarities and B-Sides. And again, the so that's the whole you know collection of discs. And again, I love that they include documentaries. I love that they include music very very exciting stuff coming back to the 356 page black emmanuel bible designed by luke insect with a cover illustration by kim thompson this is a fully illustrated 356 page book it's the most substantial collection of writing ever devoted to the series with essays by kevin john bazelka costas uh constanidis Rachel Harrison, Alexandra Heller Nicholas, another favorite of mine, Kayla Janice, fantastic, Jennifer Mormon, uh, Xavier Aldana Reyes, George Rivera Gutierrez, and Aaron Wigand, additional capsule reviews by Brian Connolly and Craig Ledbetter, and archival interviews with actress Laura Gemser and screenwriter uh, Maria Piafusco. So that's pretty. Fantastic. Just a beautiful book by itself. The kind of book they could easily sell on its own and it would do just fine. Just beautiful to look at. So, yeah, another amazing set from Severin. And this is going to be, like I said, new stuff for me in terms of a lot of these films that I'm not aware of and uh, curious to dig into uh, and learn a heck of a lot about through the copious supplements that are included with this set. So again, hats off to Severin for doing this. I know a lot of people are very excited about this set, and I can absolutely see why. After holding it in my hands and going it, th you know, through the whole thing with y'all, it's clearly an epic uh, that is in line with the kind of box set work they've been doing and continue to do. So kudos to them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.